it was all over social media. We didn't really know much about the origins or the true intentions of the organizers. So I was a little hesitant at first um, and I was taking my time. But what really motivated me to turn up was when I got about four calls from friends who never speak out on any political issues and they called me, Sarah, Sarah, where are you? Where are you? You have to be here. And then I realized that I had to be part of, of this history changing event. And so I quickly made my way to Ifwa Sutherland Park on 1st July 2014. It was overwhelming initially. It was overwhelming to see the number of people who had turned out and I know people have this idea that was purely middle class. Well, it wasn't because I actually saw some of my neighbors who I know are not middle class that drive taxis and th they were all very excited to be there. It was like um, almost the first opportunity a lot of people had to express how they were feeling at the time about the government and how poorly they were governing the country. I'm very optimistic because I think um, Republic Day 2014, Occupy Fly, it was a wake-up call for a lot of us and since then a lot of people have remained in the activism sector. The ordinary citizen as well, uh, it was a wake-up call. Also the most recent election also empowered a lot of people to know that yes, you can change a government you are dissatisfied with through the ballot box without violence. So I'm extremely optimistic but it will take all of us every day doing the right thing and keeping the government on their toes to get this country back on track.